Hare Krishna. Today I'd like to show you how to set up the foundation and place the pillars for the Murli Ram construction technique. For this particular foundation, we chose to use a cement and lime mixture. I like lime because of its hydroscopic capabilities of sucking in water when it's too humid and releasing water when it's too dry so that it can keep the ambient nice and level. An important point when using natural building materials is controlling the humidity. In this particular example, we chose to use a plastic lining under our foundation in order to keep out excess moisture from rotting our natural wood and bamboo materials. An important reminder before you set your foundation is to organize all your plumbing and your piping and your electrical conduit ahead of time so that you don't have to worry about it later. So we designed this method of construction so that all the materials are easy to gather. Take for example if we wanted to cut this tree down and utilize it for the posts or the beams so much endeavor is going to be needed to cut this down and so much large machinery and a large environmental impact would be caused by trying to use this wood. So we're trying to utilize small, easy to handle materials that are renewable over time. And we can see for example that these posts, this trunk right here, with minimal processing, just the machete taking off the bark, was all that was necessary to have a functioning pillar. When installing your posts, keep in mind the slope you're gonna need when installing your roof. Another realization I had was that when water hits this wall, and since it's gonna have soil in the center, it could soak up that water and eventually trickle down due to gravity and also pool at the bottom. So having an inclined plane here pointing outwards will help uh, not collect the water and prevent rot.